It's those that we think are the most needy. These will be the ones that come in via our RSPCA inspectors or strays where the owners haven't claimed them that are either injured or poorly in some way. I'll then decide which of those animals would most benefit from home comforts and put them with a fosterer. I first got involved with the RSPCA about 10 years ago when I adopted my own dog and I needed a home visit to check that my home was suitable for adopting a dog. They explained that they were really short of home visitors so I thought well why not try doing it myself. So I started out helping um, animals be rehomed by visiting potential new homes for them and checking that they um, were able to provide everything that the dog needed and that the dog was going to be a good fit. When I moved to a larger house um, I was able to consider fostering. So I started out doing this about six years ago and I fostered a range of animals from puppies to older dogs and it's been incredibly rewarding. Whilst the animals in foster care, the RSPCA can help with the costs of looking after the pet. This includes vet bills. We're very fortunate here that we have our own RSPCA clinic in Cambridge. This, with help from the Cambridge Veterinary School, we're able to operate clinics which provide cheap veterinary treatment for pet owners on low incomes, but also we can use that facility for our own RSPCA animals. This enables us to get often quite complicated treatments done at a reasonable cost. And with a combination of that and the TLC and foster um, care, we can rehabilitate large numbers of animals and rehome them. At the moment I have Millie, a seven month old Staffy, whose owner wasn't able to look after her anymore. So like a lot of owners, um, they didn't realise the cost of owning a dog and the time it was going to take and all the things that they need, particularly as they grow up and they're puppies and adolescents. So when Millie arrived, she hadn't been vaccinated, she hadn't been wormed or defleed, and she hadn't been microchipped. So the owner knew that by giving her to the RSPCA to rehome, we would be able to ensure that all those things were done and that she'd be spayed when she was old enough to make sure that she didn't go on and have puppies. We use fosterers for a variety of animals, cats, dogs, rabbits and other small furries. We particularly need help with dog fostering at the moment. Our main requirements for dog fosterers are that you have some experience in looking after dogs, that you have a securely fenced in garden and that the dog wouldn't be left on its own for lengthy periods of time. If you think you might be able to help us with fostering, please make contact. The best bit about fostering is seeing them go to their new homes and getting updates from their new owners when they've settled in and that makes it all worthwhile even though it's quite painful sometimes when they go and we do miss them it's so rewarding when you get that photo six months later um, and they're totally at home.